joining us uh, now is uh, the APC's uh, Hassan Ayariga. Good evening to you, Mr. Ayariga. Good evening to you and good evening to our listeners. So what's your initial reaction to uh, your disqualification by the Electoral Commission? If you listen to the reasons for disqualifying APC presidential candidate, Dr. Hassan Ayariga, I think there are no beef that disqualification. I think the EC themselves are uh, a party that do not know what they are uh, that do not know what they are doing, or either they are confused. You cannot. Do you say sorry to interrupt you, sir? Why do you say there is no basis for the decision they are taking? I'm to that. That's because what I'm to. just a quick That's one. Because they projected. No, just a quick one, sir. They projected details of voters who had endorsed for you but had endorsed for others. And there were also issues with their registration and the like, which was deemed possibly fraudulent. What registration? Fraudulent. That was what I was coming to you. The, the thing is directed to me and not to you. And I want to explain to you. Now, you are ex if you know all this explanation, why don't you call me? You see, the issue is this. They're saying that they don't... Ayeriga has not given enough evidence of his identity in this country. And you are telling me that Yerikba has not given enough evidence of his identification. Someone who stood for the presidential election in 2012, right, used the voter ID you gave me as a voter to fill my form. The, the, the requirement is a voter ID card, the voter ID card number, your constituency, your address, your name, your spouse name, and all those things. And you think I cannot fill that? And I filled that correctly. Then you come and tell Ghanaians that Ayariga did not prove enough evidence of his identification. What kind of identification are you looking for? If I, you give me a voter's ID and I use that same voter's ID card to fill my form and you tell, come back around and you tell Ghanaians that I did not give enough proof of my identification, are we serious? Is that a serious institution? And then secondly, you said that someone signed for Ayerga and the same person also signed for Edward Mahama. Are you telling us that if somebody decides to sign for endorse Ayerga, and I don't know, and the 432 voters uh, uh, endorse this form, 432. And out of the 432, one person endorsed for Ayerga and the same person endorsed for Edward Mahama. And you are telling me that because of that endorsement, who endorsed for APC at the same time endorsed for P PNC is a reason for you to disqualify a whole party from contesting. Are we serious? When you went to EC with the, when they, um, what do you call it? The MPP took the EC to court with regards to the 2012 general elections. The court found it reasons that EC made so many mistakes in that, court, in that case. Did they disqualify the elections? Did they stop the issue from, from contesting and from supervising another election? I mean, um, please, 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 please. This is the joke of the century for you to disqualify me based on these two reasons. Is it a deliberate attempt? Ghanaians are listening. Is this enough basis to disqualify a young guy and his party? Come again and I will listen to you, but not this. You mean that if I am a, a contester in the 2012, I cannot qualify again because you don't know my identification? Come on. Were you giving any advance notice by the EC at all? Uh, on, no, on means, sir. Nobody gave us anything. Not a letter, nothing. Completely nothing. I just saw it on TV when I, this evening when I was told that they were having a press conference. I decided just to watch. So the first time you heard it was today? Well, today on TV. When my name popped up as the first candidate to be disqualified. Till now I have just sent my general secretary to go to EC this evening and get me the letter that I can go to court. Because without the letter, how do I go to court? So you are going to challenge this in court? Of course. I mean, the court, will, if they don't know identity, the court will tell them my identity. If that is what they want the court to, 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 to address, the court will address my who Who in this country doesn't know Dr. Ferreira? And you, EC, you are telling me you don't know him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ghana is bigger than this joke. Ghana is bigger than this. So, so what, 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 what about all the money you've already paid the EC, though? What's going to happen to it? So I'm not worried about the money, my brother. The money is not a problem to me. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about we're doing the right thing. We care about that money. But the right thing must be done in this country. I paid a lot of money to eat it to this morning. Almost a million Ghana. And that's not what I'm worried about. We have to be sick and know what we are doing as a nation. Not to joke with people's uh, 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 professions and their, 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 their distance. What kind of joke is this? Are we a serious political, uh, this a serious institution? 
that somebody can just sit somewhere and disqualify people the way he she likes without proper basis tell me uh, my brother Mensa, is this reason enough to disqualify APC is that enough reason well Mr. Aga, I want to say I want to say a big thank you to you sir thank you my brother have a good evening you too I really don't have a good evening